Hello students, uh, this video aims to cover the remaining topics of the chapter refraction through lenses. So as we all know the basic use of lenses is to obtain the images of certain objects placed at some distance. So to obtain these images on the paper you have we have to understand some basic rules. So let's start. Now our first rule is that whenever a ray is coming parallel to the principal axis, I am talking about convex lens, that whenever a ray comes parallel to the principal axis, it, after refraction, it passes through the focus point. Now, if same rule is applied to, to a concave lens, so you can see that a ray is coming parallel to the principal axis and after refraction, it is going in this particular direction. So, if an observer is standing here, that is your observer is standing at this particular point. So to an observer, this ray will look like that this ray is coming from this particular point. So now we can understood our first rule that is a ray coming parallel to the principal axis passes. Ye jo passes hai, ye basically ab dekh sakte hai, yahan pe for uh, in the concave in the in the convex lens it is actually passing all seem to pass through the focus and in the concave uh, lens it is just seem to pass from the focus point now heading towards next rule uh, second rule is a ray coming from or aimed toward the focus now you can see that in this particular figure this ray is coming from the focus and in this particular figure you can see that this ray is going towards the focus that is this ray is aimed at the focus so after refraction you can see that both rays become parallel so our rule 2 is a ray coming from or aimed toward the focus becomes parallel to the principal axis now we will go to our rule third that is whenever a ray is passing through the optical center it does not deviates from its original path so it will continue to trace its original path. Now first we will take images formed by convex lenses. We will discuss how a convex lens create uh, images of an object placed at different distances. So first is when object is placed at the when object is placed at the infinite. So we know that that whenever an object is placed at the infinite, infinite means at a large distance infinite basically means at a large distance say 10 meter or 12 meter uh, is placed at an uh, at infinite so rays become parallel to the uh, principal axis so you can see that all the rays are coming parallel to the principal axis and from the rule first you know that whenever a ray comes parallel to the principal axis it will uh, it uh, it will be made to pass from the focus so you can see that there are many rays meeting at the focus point. So uh, you know that the definition of the image is when uh, the point at which refracted rays meet is called image. Again I repeat, image is known as the point at which refracted rays meet or seem to meet. When rays only seem to meet, the image formed is called as uh, virtual image. When rays actually meet the image is real image so you can see that in this particular figure the rays are actually meeting at the focus so image is formed at the focus so let's discuss properties of the image so image is real because rays are actually meeting at the point f2 and inverted next is diminished in size that is image is very small uh, you also know that when some object is uh, uh, at a large distance from our eyes that object uh, seems as a very small object you can take the example of an aeroplane aeroplane is flying suppose in the sky so this that aeroplane seems as very small but it is not small but since uh, this aeroplane is at a large distance from our eyes so it uh, looks as a very tiny plane but actually the size of the plane is very big as compared to what is uh, seen in the at, uh, in the sky so similarly for the lenses also when object is placed at a large distance 
uh, image is very small image formed is very small uses so basically this condition is used in telescope camera lenses and burning glasses now moving to condition 2 that is object is placed beyond coc that is center of curvature so that is your center of curvature now object is ab which is lying uh, behind the 2f point that is center of curvature so there are two rays basically again in class 9th you must have gone through all these important points that to draw an image we require at least two images so in this uh, figure i have only two images one ray is coming parallel to the principal axis so after refraction it will pass through the focus point so it is passing through that focus point now another ray is going from the optical center so as rule third says whenever a ray passes through the optical center it does not deviate from its path so will so it will continue to trace its original path so now you can see that these two refracted rays meet at this particular point so from the definition of the definition of the image you all know that that image is defined as the point at which refracted rays meet so this is the point of the image now uh, let us discuss the property of the image so image is real again you can see that these rays are actually meeting so image is real again inverted you can see object is standing in this particular direction and image is standing in this particular direction so you can see that uh, the image is inverted now diminished in size another property you can see that object has greater length as compared to image now fourth property is formed between f2 and 2f2 this is your focus point and this is your center of curvature so image is formed between focus and center of this situation is used in camera and uh, while reading we also use this particular situation now moving to our third condition that is ob object is placed at the center of curvature so now again we have selected two rays one ray is coming parallel to the principal axis and other ray is passing through the uh, optical center so both rays after refraction meet at a point a dash so uh, your image is your if your object is a b then your image is a dash b dash again let's discuss the property of the image that is real inverted equal in size and formed at 2f2 uh, 2f2 means center of curvature again uses so basically this condition is used in photo copy uh, let us now discuss our next condition that is object is between 2f1 and f1 so object is placed between 2f uh, 2f1 and f1 now again you can see that there are two rays one is parallel to the principal axis and other ray is passing through the uh, optical center so they will meet at a point at this particular point so you can see that image is formed uh, beyond uh, 2f2 so let's discuss properties first is real uh, image is real and then inverted you can see that the image is inverted bigger in size and beyond 2f2 now students uh, you must have seen that you must have seen that initially when object was placed at the infinite uh, the image was very small when object was brought uh, beyond the center of curvature image was the size of the image was increased and when it was brought at the center of curvature uh, then the size of the image was equal to the size of the uh, object and in this particular condition when object is placed between f2 and 2f2 uh, its image uh, is more in size as compared to object so you can see that as object is moved towards the lens the size of the image is increasing so same i think happens with our eyes also as as object is brought closer to our eye the image of that uh, object uh, starts increasing so having uh, correlated the actual facts with the lens let's move to our first condition that is 
object is placed at the focus so you can see that one ray is again coming parallel to the principal axis so it will pass through the focus point and other ray is coming optical center now one interesting thing is there that both refracted radar rays are parallel now so you know that parallel rays generally does not meet or they are assumed to meet at the infinite so you can see that as these rays go downward they will meet at infinite which means image will be extremely large so now let's discuss the property of the image so first property is real second is inverted and third one is extremely magnified that image is formed though the image is formed at the infinite but the image is extremely magnified magnified and last one is formed at the infinite and the use of uh, this situation uh, is in the spotlights so now we will talk about case 6 in the case 6 object is placed between optical center and object is placed between optical center and uh, principal focus so you can see that uh, one ray is again going parallel to the principal axis and one ray is going from optical center now you can see that these rays are divergent in nature which means they are going away from each other so uh, you can easily appreciate this point that these two rays cannot meet in this side of the mirror they cannot meet in this side of the lens sorry so if since these rays are divergent so they cannot meet in this particular direction so they will if I, I am an observer, suppose I am standing here at point <coughs> OB, sorry. So, if I am an observer, so these rays seem to, to meet me at this particular point. If I am an observer, I am standing here, so these two rays are this particular point. Pe milti hui nazar aati hai. So, this means that the image of this object is formed at this particular point. So now we can see that uh, image formed this in this situation is a virtual image because rays are actually not meeting but as an observer the rays are only seem to meet at this particular point. So now uh, image is virtual erect. Erect the meaning of erect is the object is aligned in this uh, the image is aligned in the same direction as object you can see object is standing in this particular direction so image will be also in this direction so erect means uh, the object the image is aligned in the same direction as object now you can see that the image is greater than the object so image will be magnified and it is formed behind the lens uses of this particular case the this particular case is used in magnifying glasses Now, uh, from the discussion uh, in the video, we can conclude that image formed by a convex lens is more often than not is real except one case and that is case number 6 whenever an object is placed between optical center and principal focus except this situation the image was always real. Now student, this case is very important for us for us because this uh, same situation is used in the magnifying glasses or simple microscope which is our next topic sorry before going to the magnifying uh, sorry before going to the simple microscope we will discuss images formed by concave lenses so here are basically two cases your first case is when object is at infinite so you can see that object is placed at infinite so whenever a ray is placed at infinite rays will come parallel to the principal axis so you can see that all the rays are coming parallel to the principal axis after refraction they are scattered in all the directions which means they cannot meet this side of the lens so if i am an observer i mean and i am standing at this particular point so aap dekh sakte hain ye rays mujhe is particular point pe milti hui lag rahi hain so your image is formed at the uh, focus point of a um, concave lens and now let's discuss the properties of the image image is virtual extremely diminished that is very small 
formed at the second focus now uses ये बेसिकली हमारा स्पेक्टिकल्स में यूज होता है नाउ मूविंग टू द सेकेंड केस वेन वेन ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेस्ड बिटवीन इन्फेनाइट एंड द लेंस सो यू कैन सी दैट रे इज कमिंग पैरल टू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सेस दिस रे इज डी इज रिफ्रैक्टेड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन अ रे इज गोइंग इज गोइंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन so again you can see that both these rays are divergent in nature <coughs> sorry which means they are going uh, away from each other so they cannot meet this side of the lens so will uh, so they will uh, only seem to meet at this particular point so image is formed at this point so this image is also virtual and you can see that image is also erect because it is in the same orientation as object is and image is diminished in size that uh, image is uh, uh, the size of the image is less than the size of the object again this case is also used in spectacles now we conclude that uh, for a con concave lens the image formed is always virtual and uh, the the size of the image is always less than the object and again the dis, uh, the uh, the image formed by a concave lens is always the dis, uh, always lies in this particular distance which means the maximum distance of the image can be at the focus otherwise uh, if object is not at infinite wherever you place the object the image will be lying in this particular distance so we can see uh, say that the maximum distance of the image is when object is placed at the infinite and the image is formed at the focus except this case you cannot have an image at the focus point you will have image between somewhere there now a concluding topic of this chapter is simple microscope again lots of birds are there so i hope you will not get distracted from all these of all these sweet voices so let's proceed to our topic that is simple microscope so basically uh, simple microscope is the most basic instrument used to see the different uh, used to see the small objects now uh, i will discuss the basic concept uh, behind uh, the, all these magnifying instruments now you have a small object and suppose your eye is placed here so you can see that this object is making this particular angle on your eye if i assumed this angle as alpha not now if i take an optical instrument so your object is this and suppose i have a convex lens there and the focus of this convex lens is at this particular point so you can uh, you know that whenever object is placed between op uh, between optical center and focus its image uh, formed uh, the image formed is virtual and image will be something like this so now again if i see this particular now uh, now i will see the uh, this image of this object instead of seeing this object so you can see that this uh, so if i see this particular image so you can see that if this is my eye so this ang uh, the image creates this particular angle on the eye and if this angle is alpha now you can see that there are two angles first angle is alpha not and alpha not is the angle which is created by the object on our eyes and alpha is the angle which is created by the image of this particular object now you can easily uh, appreciate this point that this alpha is greater than the alpha not which means 
angle created by the image of the object is greater than the angle created by the object itself. Now we know that एक ऑब्जेक्ट हमें बड़ी दिखाई पड़ेगी या छोटी दिखाई पड़ेगी इस बात पे डिपेंड करता है कि वो ऑब्जेक्ट कितना बड़ा एंगल हमारी आंख पे बनाती है जैसे कि मैंने दो एग्जांपल लिए आपके सामने दिस इज दिस वाज योर ऑब्जेक्ट एंड दिस वाज मेकिंग एन एंगल ऑफ अल्फा नॉट एंड दिस वाज द इमेज ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट एंड दिस वाज मेकिंग एट एन एंगल ऑफ अल्फा ऑन द ऑनर आई सो Uh, since alpha is greater as compared to alpha not तो इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि जो ऑब्जेक्ट uh, का इमेज जो हमारे आँख पे एंगल बना रहा है वो बड़ा है एज कम्पेयर टू अल्फा नॉट सो इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि जो ऑब्जेक्ट अभी तक हमें छोटी दिखाई पड़ रही थी अगर जो उसके इमेज को देखें सो so वो इमेज क्योंकि हमारी आँख पे बड़ा कोड बनाए बड़ा एंगल बनाएगा सो विच मीन्स ऑब्जेक्ट the size of the object increases sorry so, uh, the size of the object cannot increase the size of the image of the object increases which means jo abhi tak object hame choti dikhai padne lag gayi thi wo hame abhi badi dikhai padne lag jayegi this is the basic fundamental of all magnifying instruments they basically uh create a larger image of a small object और अब हम क्या करते हैं हम उस small object को देखने के बजाय उस larger image को देखते हैं और वो image हमारी आँख पर एक बड़ा सा कोड बनाती है जिससे object हमें वो जो छोटी सी object है वो हमें बड़ी दिखाई पड़ने लगती है so this is the basic principle behind all magnifying instruments now uh, same principle is used in the uh, simple microscope now again you can see that we have taken a situation where object is placed between optical center and focus you can see that uh, a, re, a virtual and erect image of this object ab is formed at a dash b dash so now our eyes um, are seeing this image instead of this object so uh, the angle formed by this image is greater on our eyes so the object is bigger appears bigger to us now the same uh, the things i have discussed is illustrated in this particular figure now you can see that this is your object this is your object and this is making an angle of alpha and this is the image of that object formed by a uh, simple microscope so this image creates an angle of alpha dash so your magnifying power of the instrument is defined as alpha dash upon alpha not or definition is written here it is defined as the ratio of angle subtended by an object with a lens in use to subtend by the object now all these uh, leave all these mathematical calculation uh, these are not in your syllabus so this is is the basic formula of magnification power in many questions you have to calculate the magnification power and this is another formula of magnification power that is magnification power is always represented by m and it is given by 25 by f plus 1 plus 1 so whenever you are asked to calculate magnifying power you will use this particular formula and if okay this Uh, this formula is used when the image is formed at a distance of 25 cm and if the image is formed at the infinite you will use this particular formula so i have also given uh, the fact i have told you here whenever image is formed at infinite then magnification power m is equals to d, d divided by f and when image is formed at d that is 25 cm then the formula will be uh, 1 plus d upon f so with this we end up this video so with this uh, uh, the our video comes to an end i hope uh, you understand all the things if you have any problem regarding this chapter because this is a difficult one so 
problems may arise somewhere and uh, you might not have understood a topic clearly so you can ask without any hesitation through whatsapp or any other media but please pay attention to all those videos all these videos because these are for you and i and we are putting a great effort behind all these videos so pay attention and uh, try to learn what whatever is being taught to you because uh, this is very important for you okay thank you